We're going to go through some muscles of the uh, upper extremity. We're going to start with the biceps brachii. And let's quickly review the origins and insertions for that muscle. So we do know it has two heads, the long head and the short head. The short head coming off the coracoid process, which is right beneath my finger here. And then the long head is a superior attachment to the glenoid labrum. And then their insertions are down, uh, one on the radial tuberosity, and then one into the uh, aponeurosis, which we'll be able to see a little bit better when the patient brings the arm up like that. And just do a little bit of resistance for me. So we can really see good definition of the tendon here and then the apneurosis is actually going to fan out here and you're going to have some fibers of the bicep connect down there. For the muscle test, there's various positions we can do this in. Let's start with just a very general one. So I'm going to support underneath his elbow with my hand and I'm going to cup just across the wrist here, not across the hand but across the wrist. And then from here I'm going to try and pull his arm down and he's going to do a resisted motion just like that. So this is challenging flexion. Now we do know it's an elbow flexor as well as a supinator, so if I want to make this a little more specific, I can pull down as well as try and rotate his wrist inwards, and he's going to have to rebound and rotate his wrist outwards. That's going to challenge supination and flexion at the same time. Now that's very specific and useful to check the, uh, the short head. If we want to get a little more specific for the long head, what we can do is bring his arm up and across his body like this, this is the testing position. This is also known as an O'Brien's test, and this puts a lot of strain and torque through the bicep's long head. So when I slowly load in like that, you can see the muscle quivering and it challenging specifically those fibers. Now, some, some things we're looking for with that muscle test is pain deep inside the joint if it's pulling on that superior labral attachment, or potentially might have some pain uh, across the muscle fibers of the, uh, of the long head. Another variation for that one, is because we know the long head crosses the shoulder joint, so it also does a bit of shoulder flexion as well. So we can bring it up into this position, support across the front, and then load down slowly and challenge the muscle that way. Another variation on O'Brien's is you can do a little bit of supraspinatus involvement to see if there's any impingement going on between the supraspinatus and the biceps long head end, and then you're going to slowly load in, sort of down, but also across the front of his body. So we're going to show you guys a supine version for a biceps muscle test. So what you're going to do is bring the arm to about, or in the elbow, to about 90 degrees. And now make sure when you're contacting the wrist that you're not doing a tight grip. Because in this position, the patient actually won't know if I'm pushing this way or if I'm pulling this way. So to bring that thumb around the front, now they know for sure I'm going to be pulling their arm down. I'm going to support underneath the elbow here. So hold there nice and strong, don't let me move you. And slowly build tension. Now again. This is mostly challenging flexion, but what it can do is do a little bit of supination challenge at the, sorry, pronation challenge at the same time so that he has to supinate. And there you see really good, really good definition all through the bicep there.